Well, the point is to try to get the public aware of what's going on. The importance of tar sands is that it's the first step, first big step, into unconventional fossil fuels. And what we know from the science is we cannot burn the unconventional fossil fuels and put the carbon into the atmosphere without leaving our children and grandchildren a situation that's out of their control. That's, it's a big deal. We, it, the science is very clear that we're already, with conventional oil and gas, we're putting the amount of CO2 up to the dangerous level. We can still solve that problem if we phase out coal emissions over the next few decades and if we leave tar sands in the ground. But the fossil fuel companies are just ignoring that. They're assuming we can develop all that stuff. We can't. The science is crystal clear, and the president should understand that. And he should be, as a representative of the people, he should be moving the system in the direction of clean energies. And that doesn't mean the kind of green jobs that he was talking about. It takes, it, the simple fact is that as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, then regardless of what you do with the green energies, we're going to keep burning the fossil fuels. So you have to put a price on carbon to make the fossil fuels pay their cost to society, the impacts they have on human health and on the future of our children and grandchildren. It's very simple. Put a rising price on carbon, a flat fee across the board, collected from the fossil fuel companies, distributed on a per capita basis to the public, not given to special interests, the favorite lobbyists of Congress, but to the public, 100%. Right. That would allow us, in 10 years, if we had a $10 a ton increase annually, we would reduce carbon emissions by 30% in the United States. That's 13, in 10 years? In 10 years. That's 13 times more than the Keystone Pipeline. So there's much more powerful approaches than trying to dig up the dirtiest stuff on the planet. Right. Burning tar sands and using that uh, oil that's derived in the back of an automobile is worse than burning coal in your automobile. It's crazy. It is a drug addict reaching for a dirty needle from a fellow addict. It's crazy. And the president should understand that and exercise leadership and reject the pipeline. What kind of